Well, good afternoon. Um, I hope everyone can hear me well, and um, I hope this goes well. It's very hard without any feedback, so bear with me. So um, my name is Emma Richardson, and um, I'm coming to you from Colorado in the United States, where it is approximately 5 a.m. in the morning, and I believe it's about 5.30 in the afternoon there. So hopefully you've all had a great day. Um, I think maybe this was your first day of the moot, but I may be wrong on that, but I hope it's been going well for you. And so I'm here to talk to you about the Moodle Users Association. Um, and normally I would ask how many people are from the Moodle Users Association, but um, I can't see or hear you. So um, I'm just going to talk. And then at the end, what we'll do is if anyone has questions, if you can just send them up to one of the people in the room and we'll use the chat to get them to me um, and I'll answer them all at the end. So right now I'm kind of stuck in my PowerPoint and that's all I can see. So I'm just going to keep going um, until I get through it. So, um, so here we go. <clears throat> so what is the Users Association? The Moodle Users Association um, was created um, about three years ago. And it's basically an association of just Moodle users. So you have to be a user of Moodle to join the association. Um, it is not Moodle. It's a separate um, entity. And it's, uh, we've got our own governing board. Um, it's run by a committee of volunteers. Um, there's 10 of us. We get elected in every year. Um, currently, I'm the chair of the committee, um, but we have a great committee of people this year. We have 10 um, very, very active members um, and we just got voted in um, a couple of months ago and um, I've kind of put the committee to task this year and they're really coming through. So I'm really excited about what's happening with the association. Um, and we have our own rules and procedures and these can all be found on our website. Our website is at moodleassociation.org. Um, and um, I really encourage everyone to go look at the website and look around. We are in the middle of revamping it. Um, so it, within about a month, I hope to have kind of a whole new look to it. Um, but, for, but all the basic information is there. So when we talk about what we do, um, it basically comes to that we have um, some power to influence Moodle development. And so there's three tracks where you can help change things in Moodle. Um, the first thing is if you find a problem or you have a feature request, you can go to the Moodle tracker. Um, and the Moodle tracker is great. Um, they're actually very responsive. I know Martin has a whole new team there now and they're really trying to um, go through all the tracker issues, um, which is excellent. And so that is one way just through the general Moodle progress of making changes in Moodle. And you can propose code there if you're a code writer. Um, you can actually implement um, solutions right into Tracker right there and get them incorporated. The other track is um, if you're a Moodle partner. And so that way you get to um, help Moodle by, um, it's kind of a two-way relationship, you get to use Moodle's name, um, you help support Moodle financially, and through that there's also some features and stuff that you can influence um, over bringing into Moodle that way. And then the third way, which is this new way, is the Moodle Users Association. And what we do is we develop um, projects and our Moodle users um, or our members are able to submit projects which are just like ideas that they want to go into Moodle. And so um, it can be anything from something really little to something really huge. And so we have two cycles a year. Each cycle runs six months. And so during the beginning of that cycle, our members come in and they um, propose their projects and they say, this is what we want to see change in Moodle. We, we, or we would love this feature or this needs fixing. And so they come in and um, they propose projects and then um, our members vote on them and we say which is the best um, best of these projects and the first time we vote we just kind of cut it down to the top 10 
And then those top 10, we kind of try and develop as much as we can. So we're really ready for uh, Moodle HQ to take a look at them and go, yes, this is a, you know, this is a good project. We can do it. And here's a rough estimate of how much it's going to cost to do that. Um, and then once Moodle HQs come back with their feedback and their estimates, we vote again. And that top project, if we have enough money, um, then gets pushed over to Moodle and gets implemented into Moodle Core. And so it's, a, it's an exciting process because it's a way that an individual member can make a huge change. Um, or, a, you know, a larger university or something can also have quite a bit of um, influence. So the way our membership works is we have um, different levels um, of membership. We have an individual member, which is, um, it's actually very cheap to join. It's a hundred US, uh, oh, sorry, Australian dollars annually. Um, and then we have different levels for institutions to join, going up to our gold level, which is um, 10,000 Australian dollars a year. And each dollar represents a vote. So um, while you can have a great effect as an individual member with um, your 100 votes, um, probably the biggest effect you're going to have is maybe getting a project proposed and voted on um, by other people. Because obviously your 100 votes won't have as much as an institution's votes, um, but you still have the equal right to put in a project, which is wonderful. So through this whole process, um, it's really just a group of people coming together. So we support the growth of Moodle by taking all those membership fees and putting them into new ideas and new projects. And we become a united voice for the community out there. Um, so not only are we driving that direction for development, but we're actually providing the resources to turn those ideas into actual Moodle features and reality. So um, it's kind of an exciting, it's almost like crowdfunding, um, but then you get to decide which project we crowdfund. Um, so it's a really neat way to support Moodle. And a lot of people just come in because they want to give a little bit back to Moodle and they understand that this money is all going directly back to HQ for core features. So a few projects that we've already released. Um, the very first project that um, the Moodle Users, Users Association um, came up with was the Recycle Bin. And um, this is, oh, invaluable. I use this all the time because I'm one of those people that deletes things. So um, we now have the Recycle Bin and that came from the Users Association. Um, just recently in 3.3, um, we rewrote the whole dashboard and that was um, hopefully you guys are on 3.3 and you're really enjoying that new look of the dashboard. So it's got a nice completion editor. You can look at your dashboard and kind of see your progress in each course. Um, what is wonderful about this project was it was um, suggested by just an individual user member. So for her, you know, little $100 um, or 100 Australian dollars that she paid for her membership, she was able to have a huge effect um, on Moodle overall because Dashboard is one of those major pages um, in there. And in 3.4, um, I don't know how many are on 3.4. I know I'm in the process of upgrading my sites. Um, the calendar um, went through um, a big rewrite. And so what's great about that is we now have drag and drop in the calendar. So your events, you can drag them from one date to another, and it will actually update the date in the act corresponding activity too. And I think the majority of the core activities are now compatible with the new calendar drag and drop. Maybe not quite all, but I know that um, we've got choice, assignment. I'm not sure if quiz got um, brought up, but if not, it's I believe it's on the list to get done soon and maybe we'll ask the Moodle team about that. Um, so that's really been um, a great project too. And um, just a new look too for the calendar. So um, that's coming in. Currently we're working on um, improved tagging for the question bank. Um, and our next project um, we believe will um, allow us to create quizzes um, by tag 
um, pull random questions from a category and then further filter it down to a tag. So this is going to give us a lot greater control over um, selection of quiz questions. Um, and we think that's going to be a great improvement on the quiz bank. And we're currently in the process of voting on the next project. Um, and so we've always got a couple of things in the works. And in January, we start a whole new round and we'll start um, looking for suggestions and project proposals again. So if you haven't joined already, now is a great time to join um, because you can actually get in on that next round in January. And then if you have a great idea for Moodle, you can get in there and um, get that submitted right away. Um, we have a lot of current goals with our new team. So we've really been working on improving communications with members. Um, our last chair came up with a great um, idea to have um, monthly town hall meetings. And we do that. Um, so twice a month we meet and um, we started off just kind of with open discussion, discussing what people wanted to see change with the association. Um, and that's where the improved communications came from. Um, now our members have asked that we kind of have some topics to talk about. So we're now picking a topic for each town hall meeting. Um, this last month we discussed the grade book and we had some really great discussion about the grade book and we had some great book people there that joined us. Um, and so we do this on the um, first and second Tuesday of every month and um, the meetings are on the calendar on the website. They're also open to everyone now. So we open them up. They're not just for members. So we invite anyone to come join us. So if you even just want to come find out a little bit more about us, the town hall meetings are a great, great place to do that. Um, we continue to collaborate with HQ. That's our primary focus. Um, and HQ are a great bunch to collaborate with. So um, as I mentioned, we're revising our website. Um, I believe we're going to switch to a different, to bring it up to date and switch over to the boost theme here shortly. And so we have some work going on in the background just to make sure everything um, is ready to do that. So. Um, so that'll be exciting. We're trying to make it a little bit user friendlier. So um, some of our committee members are working on um, a frequently asked questions glossary um, so we can get some, you know, questions answered quickly for those people that come in. Um, we also have done a lot with our times and we have some countdown timers to help people not miss the end of the vote and stuff like that. So we've been working on that a lot. And then, of course, our main goal is to fund more projects. And um, obviously, we can't do that without people like you joining. So we really hope that um, you will come and join us in this great, um, this great overall project of helping to fund Moodle and helping to bring some great changes to Moodle as well. So I, I went through that kind of fast because it's really hard to see when I can't see anyone. Um, but I would really kind of like to throw it out um, to questions and see um, what questions are out there. And hopefully Francis will type those in. And I'm going to stop sharing just so that I can um, see the chat here. Uh, well, thank you, Emma. Um, does anyone have any questions for Emma? No? Okay. Um, that's all right. If you have any questions, you can always get in contact with them um, through the MUA website and they'll be able to be in contact with you then. I'll pass on to Tom now. Well, if there's no questions, I will say thank you and please visit the website. Um, please feel free to, um, Francis, maybe give out the, my email if anyone has questions afterwards. Um, I'm more than happy to answer emails and stuff. So, And I hope everyone enjoys their evening. 